Hey guys, it's Mel. Just wanted to share really quick. I'm trying to get this in early just in case anybody's looking for some ideas. Um, I mentioned in another video, I a lot of the Father's Day cards doesn't fit my husband um, as far as like the suit and tie or the tools and all that stuff. Um, not that, you know, there's anything wrong with that. It's just for my particular husband. And even my dad really doesn't fit like him. So this is one card that I made and this is free on, um, for now, I don't know if it's going to be permanently, but for now on the Cricut Explorer, like I think if you have an Explorer or maybe anybody that, yeah, I guess I think because the only people who can use, um, the design space is if you have an Explorer. So anyway, it's free on there right now, um, and I decided to use this one, and here's what I did. It, it, did, it doesn't come with this sentiment on it, but for the first time I used um, the Cricut Pen option where it writes, and it is so cool. So I just designed this. Basically everything was done, and all I did is add stitch, stitch lines in the sentiment. But I came up with this little sentiment that says the best dad in the game because it relates, because this is a game controller from the old school Nintendo that we used to play. Um, and again, he's not like a super gamer or anything, um, but we did used to play us some Nintendo back in the day. So anyway, I thought this would be a fun little like blast from the past thing. So I cut this out and then I designed it on there and you just had to make sure you hit um, attach. And I didn't think it would work and I didn't have faith in it, but it did. And I used, because I don't have any of the Cricut pens, I didn't invest in any yet. But this pen is the one, if any of you remember, I just want to share this. The American Crafts um, pen that was from Target it was in the dollar spot. Um, and this one happens to be the permanent chalk ink and it has like I would I wouldn't say a fine but like a medium tip it's not like a blunt um, it's not like a big sharpie marker so it was like a little thinner and I think it did great this is the doodle type font so I just did it on there and I sized it to fit in between here because if you want to just do a plane you could just leave this controller plane but the way I did it was to say to the best dad in the game and I did my stitch lines around and then the inside, and this cutout's free too, and it's just the right shape, and it says Happy Father's Day, and it comes like this negative image, so it's just a red piece that you adhere. But before you adhere that, you put the, they give you a little black square. I didn't cut out the square, I just like ripped a little black scrap and just taped it behind this black thing with actually like really girly pink washi tape, but he'll never know. So I'm going to put probably something here and here, and then I'm going to write a little message in there, but I just did my stitching lines all the way around, just because it looked plain. I might even do some white chalk ink on the sides, whoops. Oh my goodness, <laughs> with my left hand, so. Um, and then I just stamped my little stamp on the back. So we're going to write a nice little sentiment in there to him. But I just thought that that was um, a really cute card, and I wanted to share it. In case anybody's, like, stumped with ideas, and you don't necessarily want the tool type of cards and toolbox or, you know, the suit and tie. There is a cool one with this little, I think it's called, like, Hipster Dad, and he's got, like, glasses. So I might make that, even though it doesn't really pertain to my dad, but I still got to make my dad a card. So I usually make one from the girls, um... Well, this is the first Father's Day that Tell is here, I think. Um, so normally it was just from Maya. I would make him one from Maya and then a serious one usually from me because I want to show my appreciation for the good father that he is um, from me as well, even though he's not my dad. So I usually come up with two cards, but um, here's one for now. So this will probably be um, from the girls because it's, you know, more... Um, whimsical, a kitty one. So, um, just wanted to share that in case anybody's stumped for ideas. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.